Deadly crashes are up in Duval County. Last year, we had 146. Compare that to 133 in 2015. The Florida Highway Patrol is re revamping its Arrive Alive campaign to help reverse this alarming statistic. Channel 4's Krista Moyer found out that the agencies are taking a new approach to preventing crashes. The number of traffic crashes continue to increase. It's less than a month into 2017, and we've already covered numerous wrecks across Duval County. So far, nearly 500 crashes involving injuries. Four were fatal. That's, that's a very stressful situation um, and a heartfelt situation for everybody. So the Florida Highway Patrol is partnering with local agencies to revamp its Arrive Alive campaign. Starting today, you'll notice a lot more of these on the roadways as well as other local law enforcement agencies. They're using visibility as well as a data-driven approach to help more drivers arrive alive. Using crash data, FHP will focus its efforts and resources on hotspots or areas more prone to serious wrecks. Duval County has six hotspots, one targeting the west side, including a six-mile stretch of I-10 in Jacksonville, an area that's no stranger to deadly wrecks. Take a look at those red dots. Targeted enforcement is probably one of the best ways that we can do it. Patrol these areas in 15-minute increments of visibility during these multiple periods of day. The law enforcement officers may conduct enforcement, they may simply be writing a citation. St. John's County will also see an increased police presence on one of the deadliest corridors in the state. It also has six hotspots, most along I-95 between State Road 206 and the Duval County line. That particular straightaway or roadway, people tend to get tired, distracted. They want drivers to focus on just that, driving. With all the data they've compiled, they can't pinpoint one main cause for the increase in crashes. There are impaired drivers. There are uh, individuals speeding too fast for conditions, um, so we don't have any identifiable trends. FHP is confident this new aggressive approach will deter traffic violations and crashes, ultimately making the roads safer. Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station. The Highway Patrol also wants to bring awareness to move over month. Troopers want to remind drivers that it is the law to move over for stopped law enforcement, emergency, and service vehicles. Duval County is one of the top five in move-over crashes. More than 200 were reported just last year.